about teachers and mentors in magic. We will talk much more about the literature and the authors who wrote it later. For now, I want to give you a certain understanding. There is a very funny saying among the practitioners. Those who can do, do. Those who cannot do, teach. Those who cannot teach, teach those who teach others. Jokes always come from some version of the truth. But the whole point is that a practitioner always has far more experience than a teacher, but his experience is one-sided. Whereas a teacher who imparts knowledge to others uses the cumulative experience of all practitioners. Of course he may have his own personal experience, but a teacher has no right to bring it into the learning process. A master practitioner who shares his knowledge with his apprentice is passing on his personal experience. But a teacher who gives general information about all the practices known to him has no right to be guided by his personal experience. This is the paradox. And a teacher who doesn't understand this principle of teaching, who doesn't know how to do something in practice but tries to teach others how to do it, can become the object of ridicule. And it is not that a teacher is making a self-sacrifice. but rather that he is making a conscious refusal of his own individual practice by choosing the practice of teaching. But those are the rules of the game, and there's nothing we can do about it. As a general rule, a person who practices magic is not in the business of teaching. First, he has no chance to teach because practice takes a very long time. And second, he has no opportunity to teach because he has to rely only on his own experience and therefore has to ignore the experience of others. He has to do this because he has to make his experience phenomenal and unique. And the only way he can do that is either by belittling the experience of other practitioners or by praising and overestimating his own personal experience, but that would be a lie and lying is strongly discouraged among mages.